Welcome back to another video guys. We're gonna go over some battery basics for your boat, battery selector switch installation and how they work and why you should have them. And we're gonna go over trolling motor wiring and battery systems with 12, 24 and 36 volt systems. We're gonna talk about parallel and series and how that's wired up with your batteries. I work on boats every day for a living. It's something that I truly enjoy is working on boats, fishing boats, and fishing. It's my whole life, and that's what I love doing. So I'm gonna share a little bit of my knowledge with you. So stay tuned, and we're gonna go over this real quick. So when we're talking about this battery switch, it does several different things. So for one, you can turn your boat off shut your power off to your boat nothing will work keeps your batteries from getting drained down it also can be a safety feature if somebody doesn't know you have a battery switch they won't be able to do anything on your boat or start it your kids won't be able to play and run your battery down i get that all the time my kids left to switch on burn something up or drain the battery so you can shut it off you want a battery selector especially if you're going out on long trips if you like to go out and hang out on your boat if you got a party boat you want to go and hang out in the cove all day. You want to run your stereo. You want to run lights. You want to run your aerator, wash downs, anything like that. You're going to want to get yourself two batteries, a crank battery. And then you want to get a battery selector switch and a deep cycle or house battery. We call this a house battery, not because it belongs in a house, but because the boat is the house. So what we're talking about with a house battery is a deep cycle. Larger group 27 or group 31 uh, is preferred, especially if you wanna run it all day or all night. So what this allows you to do is when you crank your battery, your, your main engine, you, wanna, you can have it on battery number one. Run out to where you're going, and then once you get there, you can turn it over to battery number two, which is your deep cycle battery. And now you can sit in that spot all day, all night, run everything off of that. Run all of your stereos and everything else. And you never have to worry about when you go to leave, am I gonna have enough battery juice to crank my engine and get back home? Because what you're gonna do is you switch it back to battery number one, and that's still fully charged. Now, if you wanna say one, say this is drained, you can also crank it to one and two and that will crank off of both batteries. Also, when it's on one and two, when you're running your main engine, it's gonna be putting a charge to both of your batteries. The charging voltage from your engine is gonna be going to both batteries. And the way you wanna wire these up is you wanna wire everything that is ran to your boat to a, a main fuse or main power lug. And then off of that, run everything to your common. So the common on the switch, there'll be a post on the switch that is labeled common. And then you'll have one that's labeled one, which will wire your main power from position one to battery one, which is your crank battery. Then you're gonna run a power wire from position two on your switch to battery two, your house battery. And then you're gonna run a shared ground from the ground on both batteries. And then that will also be grounded to a ground lug, which all of your ground share. So that way, anything on the boat will work from either battery one or battery two, or using the switch, you can combine both batteries. So that's how you run your, your boat's battery system for a battery selector switch. Then we're gonna go into wiring your trolling motor batteries. You wanna have an onboard battery charger for all your batteries on your boat. So if you have two batteries, three batteries, four batteries, you want banks going to each battery. So I have a two bank battery charger in the back here. It's right here. That maintains both of these batteries. Then I also have a two bank battery charger because I have a 24 volt system on my boat. I have a two bank battery charger here. So those maintain your batteries. You can leave them plugged in all the time. 
Um, it's going to maintain your batteries. It has a float charge, so when it reaches fully charged, it will float and maintain that charge. And if you leave them plugged in for an extended period of time, it'll actually go into a maintenance cycle or maintaining cycle where it actually gives the batteries an exercise to keep them healthy. Because just leaving them charged fully all the time is also not a great idea. So you want to work those batteries out, especially deep cycle batteries. So here's my deep cycle batteries for my Minn Kota Altera 80 pound thrust trolling motor. So what, what you want with your batteries is get a, as big a batteries as you can fit in your boat. I have two group 31s, which are large deep cycle batteries. It's gonna extend the life of your trolling motor uh, runtime greatly, the bigger batteries you can fit. With a simple 12 volt system, wiring a trolling motor is pretty straightforward. You have your main positive coming from your trolling motor, going to the positive, the main negative coming from the trolling motor, going to the negative on the battery, and you wanna make sure you have a circuit breaker on the positive rated for whatever your trolling motor most of them are 50 or 60 amp breakers now for a 24 volt system it's a little bit different so you've got two batteries so you're going to up the voltage to get 24. the way you do that is the main positive from the trolling motor goes to the positive of one battery the main negative from the trolling motor goes to the negative of the other battery and then you actually run positive negative between the two batteries. That's called series and that gives you 24 volts. Now to go up to a 36 volt, it's basically the same thing. You're only adding another battery between them. So with 36 volts, say you had a third battery over here, your main positive would run to the first battery. Your main negative from the trolling motor would run to the last battery and it would go positive, negative, positive, negative between the three batteries. And that gives you 36 volt. You bumped it up another 12. So then the, the only other thing we want to talk about is parallel. Parallel is pretty straightforward. It's still 12 volt, but if you have a 12 volt trolling motor and you want to more than double your runtime than just running one standard battery, uh, you can go parallel. Parallel is exactly that. Just like parallel lines are straight that's how you wire your batteries so your main positive was still going to go to one battery your main negative is still going to go to one battery but then you go positive positive negative negative between the two batteries parallel straight so now you have two 12 volt batteries but they're acting like one big 12 volt battery so that's going to double your runtime on your trolling motor. Highly recommended doing that if you have a 12 volt trolling motor. Also, when we're talking about extending your runtime for your trolling motors, not only keeping your battery charged at home with your with your onboard battery charger, which is, you know, 120 that converts it and maintains your batteries, but also I run what Minn Kota makes. It's called the alternator charger. I have it mounted down here. And what that does is it takes the excess voltage from your crank battery and it splits it and runs that between your trolling motor batteries. So while you're running your main engine, running around the lake, running back up for your next troll or searching for fish, you're putting a charge back to your trolling motor batteries on the water while you're running. It doesn't charge them as fast as an onboard charger does when you plug it in at home, but it does extend your day. So it, I went from going out for, you know, six hours to being able to troll all day long because I added that. It extends your day um, and puts a charge back to your trolling motor batteries while you're running around the lake or the river. So that's how it goes with battery systems. I just wanted to share that little bit of information with you. I do get questions about it all the time at work. It's fairly straightforward, but it can be a little confusing to somebody. So if you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the video and I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and I'll keep them coming. All right. Thanks guys.